I personally was here at a protest rally and davening service and felt, along with many of you, the pain of what the Jews were about to do. We see what an unmitigated disaster giving up Gush Katif was, that now Gaza has become a launching pad with missiles and rockets on a regular basis. That Jews are constantly in danger of being maimed and killed and running into shelters, children constantly in terror, afraid of terror. It would be a terrible disaster if, if Israel gave up any more land, anything in Yehuda and Sharon. Uh, around the same time, Israel gave up four communities in Shamron, Ganim, Kadim, Chomish, and Sanur. And they're being asked, there's a good chance they're going to be asked to give up more. That cannot happen. Now that it's after Chatzot, it's after midday of Tisha B'av, let us pray to Hashem that things get better like they have after Chatzot, and that Israel is not required to give up any more land, and that finally, People will start to understand everything Israel has endured. Things have continued to improve for Israel. Together as possible, I want to share a very, very deep thought that I think is the ultimate, ultimate key to the covenantal gula, to redemption itself. I once heard my Rebbe, Rabbi Yosha Basel the Mechik, say that we do not fast, even on Tisha B'Av, we do not fast for an event that has occurred in history. We don't fast about a past historical event because we have no control over what has already happened. It's happened. Rather, our fast is really to proclaim a day of tshuva. It's a day of restoration. It's a day of redirecting our lives. To consider why were the temples destroyed? Why, in fact, did the first and second commonwealth come to an end? To really discover why it happened, and on this day, this Tisha B'Av, to resolve to do it better. Why did it happen? Tanakh gives the answer. The Gemara gives the answer. It happened because of causeless hatred of Sinat China. And as Rav Kook, the first chief rabbi of Israel before there was a modern state of Israel said, that Gu'ula and redemption will come when causeless hatred is going to be replaced by unconditional love. When Sinat Chinam is going to be replaced by Ahabat Chinam. That is the greatest challenge. With all my heart and soul, I know that we will be able to rebuild Yerushalayim. On a certain level, it is easier to rebuild the Yerushalayim Shelmata, the Jerusalem on this earth. It is much more difficult to rebuild the Yerushalayim Shelmala, the Jerusalem of the above. And the Jerusalem of the above is the spirit of its name. Yeru is Aramaic for city. Shalem, the united city. The one city. Not only united east and west, but united Jew and Jew. Those on the political right, and yes, those on the political left. Those who are religious Zionists, those who are secular Zionists, those who are Haridim. To do everything within our power, Let's resolve to come together, to come together as a family. And please open your hearts and try to remember this sentence. Because the test of family love, the test of Am Yisrael, the test of family is not how we love each other when we agree, but it is rather how we love each other when we disagree. Am Yisrael is not only a nation, we're not only a big community. We're not only a Knesset Israel. We are a family. We are one family. And remember, the test of family is not how we love each other when we agree, but how we love each other when, in fact, we disagree.
but Nachum certainly was an extremely important voice. Many of you, thank you very much for coming. It's not been an easy day. It's not been an easy week. Uh, this has been uh, a, a test. The fact that so many people came is really a testimony to the fact that these 36 years that we have been davening outside on Tisha B'Av, first at the Soviet mission, then here at the United Nations, really is meaningful. Mm -hmm. 